on Jerusalem for us. Also uh, in the audience today are other members of the uh, Dele Palestinian delegation, Shaul Ariel, Amman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We do not replace the governments. We do not, and we didn't even think that we will take the place of those officials that should make a final deal. But we tried to find a solution that will motivate them, that will show the public opinion that there is a possible solution and that peace can come at the end. Frankly, I cannot see a real implementation of the roadmap without the end game being known to the two parties. And this is actually our message here. We want to save the roadmap, not to compete with the roadmap. And the only way is to say this is the picture of the future. If this is the one, and if this is going to be implemented in 2005, according to the roadmap itself, then you can do it only if you have this picture in front of your eyes. Negotiate about the picture. Have our initiative as a basis. We, all, we, we know that. I hate to, words the word, uh, to use the word concession. And I don't know what Israel gave up. If Israel will withdraw from the occupied territory, this is not a concession. I think Israel in this case is getting rid of the burden of the occupation. Well, I think that the, the decisions of who Secretary Powell meets with are made by, by the Secretary, and we, we support his uh, decisions on who he meets with. Um, but when you talk about our efforts in the Middle East, uh, we have a vision that the President put forward uh, on June 24th uh, that outlines a, a two-state vision of a, a Palestinian state and an Israeli state living side by side in peace and security. And we remain focused on that vision. We remain actively engaged in working with the parties uh, to move forward on the roadmap that the President outlined and that, that uh, was endorsed by the United Nations and other countries uh, to realize that vision, improving our air quality, to improving our water quality, and to protect